The founders of Halodyne have more than 65 years of combined experience working with povidone iodine. When the pandemic first hit the United States in early March of 2020, we understood that we needed to act quickly and also precisely and scientifically. One of the hallmarks of COVID-19 disease is asymptomatic spread, meaning we just don't know who harbors the virus and who is capable of transmitting it. Another hallmark is the use of the ACE2 receptor and the serine protease TMPRSS2. This allows the virus to bind host cells and enter host cells. More are expressed in the nose, the surfaces of the nose, the ciliated cells of the nose, the mouth, and the salivary glands than in the lower respiratory tree and deep lung. This has led some researchers to believe that initial dominant site of viral replication is actually the nose and the mouth. We recognized that we needed to do something that was going to be one, very fast acting, but then also have the ability to stick around. Halodine nasal antiseptic and oral rinse are products that were developed to address the increasing infection control needs that have come about because of COVID-19. Halodine, by targeting the nose and the mouth, is able to decrease viral transmission by killing virus particles. Halodyne acts in two distinct ways. I think about it as an inbound and outbound mechanism of action. In the first example, you might be infected. Perhaps you're shedding virus from the nose or the mouth, and this virus might be infecting others. By utilizing halodyne, we can destroy the virus at these surfaces and decrease transmission. On the other hand, if you were perfectly healthy and someone was transmitting the virus around you, you might become infected with the virus. If that happened and you were able to take halodyne at an appropriate time, you might be able to prevent infection or at least lessen its severity. Well, we're talking about an extra layer of protection that you can do on top of the regular uh, personal protection, the regular masks that you're wearing. You know, masks are not enough. Once our formulations were available, one big hurdle remained, and that was to actually test halodyne against SARS-CoV-2, or the virus that causes COVID-19. In a collaboration with Utah State's Antiviral Research Department, we were able to perform in vitro studies showing that we killed the virus in 15 seconds or less. 99.99% inactivation within 15 seconds. This was faster than anything else that was tested. More effective than hydrogen peroxide, a commonly used oral rinse, which even at 30 seconds didn't meet viral standards.